Greg Kenning, I'm with GBT Realty. Uh, we are the developer for uh, the proposed Dollar General store. Uh, I don't know how much you want me to get into. I know Bob was here for the last meeting and uh, explained probably most of the details of our project. So I'm just here tonight. Uh, obviously, we're asking for a rezone from a portion of the property that we're purchasing from industrial to uh, business. Uh, so uh, I'm here if anybody has any questions that, you know, have come up since the last meeting that I can answer. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you've got. Uh, so I'll turn it over to, to you guys. Okay. Does everybody have, a, have your copy of, of the property that's in yeah. question that we're talking about? Okay. Uh, how did the core of the samples come out? Uh, there is some fill, as we knew, uh, but nothing... Nothing drastic. Uh, bedrock's you know, only six to eight feet on average below the surface, and you know Geotech recommended uh, removing a couple feet of fill and bringing in a couple feet of engineered fill, but that's uh, a pretty common place for these projects for us, so that's really no big deal at all. So the six, foot, uh, six to eight feet below the bedrock, what's that do to you from the sewer below to Washington Street? How deep are you going to go? I can't answer that question. Can't answer that. Obviously, we just work with the uh, village to, for whatever right. work. And the only other question I have is the uh, the retention pond that we talked about in the last meeting that you were not involved right. in. Uh, how much water are we anticipating being in this retention pond? I mean, is it something that's there all the time, or are we can you know? Yeah, typically, and I think in this case because we've got a pretty good area for the detention area. Uh, typically, it's dry. And it'll only have any, you know, a few inches of standing water in it after a heavy rain. So right. the majority of the time it's dry and it's just grass. Yeah, well, I would just consider about a mosquito hit, whatever. So yeah, that, I didn't know, and, and that, I know that's all state requirements, and it's not something that we control here on, on, on council. But it's still, wanted to ask the question: right. the intentions or what your thought process was, and how much you thought that would be. So. Any other questions? I don't have any. I have one. Okay. Okay. Are you leaving any room here? I've been gone <coughs> a month or so. Okay. Um, for other stores? No. No. It's just strictly... Just strictly a Dollar General, Dollar and there's really no other room for us to put any additional stores. Okay. Yeah, the only way that it would probably ever be developed further would be if the Legion was to sell their building at some point in time. Then where they're putting it, yeah. it is down... I, I have to refresh myself. This is the Legion. This is the Legion. This is Regal's on this And this is Regal's. And you're going to do it right there. Basically, the building would be in the grass area that's just on the other side of the Legion's parking lot. Okay. Okay. I understand. Into the back, back part of it. And as I remember last meeting, there were some questions as in, to the legality of the vote that took place at the Legion. That's all been clarified and taken care of? Yeah, it's my understanding that uh, Jim Wright followed all procedures that he needed to with the American Legion to have a, a legitimate contract. Council, have any other questions? Yeah. 
That's it. If you would, I'd like to stay up here in front. Okay, sure. And that way, anybody else has any questions, sure. they can uh, ask away. Sounds good. Now I'm going to open the floor to the public. Does anybody have any questions for this gentleman? My name is Joe Halberstadt, and I'd just like to know uh, just one thing. At the last meeting, they had asked for variance on the zoning, but there was also uh, a parking issue that the required parking spaces hadn't met the proper criteria that the village had asked. Uh, what's the issue with that? I think they were required to have 74 or 78 parking spaces in total, and they could only come up with about 20 short of that 54 to 58 parking spaces. Not real accurate on the numbers, but I knew they were about 20 parking spaces short to meet with uh, what, the, what the village required for, that, so that for the business. That into, uh, is what you're talking about. Yeah. For the, to make their parking lot. Yeah. They still have to correct. Well, they, they but to will they? Will there be enough parking spaces? They still have to go before the zoning appeals board after this meeting, whatever takes place here, if it moves forward, now to go before the zoning appeals board. Uh, in regards to those parking lots. Okay. And that's parking a, spaces, not parking, parking spaces. Parking spaces, right. Zoning appeals is the ones that will finally get the variance. All right. Thank you. Anybody else have a question? Mr. Carlotti. Uh, my name is Phil Carlotti. I was wondering what this does for Dwight Regal or, or against him. Does, does, Absolutely nothing. Well, I'm not finished yet. What I was getting at is, is Dollar General going to in some way try to indemnify Mr. Regal in the future? For like, usually when people get in and they say, we don't want this neighbor here, we want him out. The gentleman from corporate that was here last time asked Mr. Regal, and that was brought up about the EPA, and he looked at Mr. Regal and asked him the white bed EPA regulations now. And he said, yes. And he said, well, then. I wasn't talking to EPA, though. That's the only thing that would be in question. But do you understand my question? I don't see where the company is going to come back and. The company wouldn't have any carrying that. I mean, I work retail as a living. My company has no bearing over who parks next to me or who. Well, I'm just asking a question. Yeah. That's, that's All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. We have no control over ourselves. <clears throat> Else? i just been getting it sick. Well, first of all, I'm Rodney Dunn. Um, the only concern I have, and I know it's hard for you as a, speaking for the business as far as the traffic flow there. There's many times that I come around there and I drive one on 21 back and forth to work every day at least once down through there. The entrance to the Dollar General, is it just going to be as soon as you pass Regal's, right, right back in there, or where's the entrance to the store going to be? It's going to be, uh, it's going to be where the existing actual Legion entrance is, so right in front of the Legion's building. And whereas right now there's kind of a, you know, no curb. Uh, a good portion of that property that's in front of that area where there's no curb is owned by the gentleman next door that has the elevator. So. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not going to be our entrance. Our entrance will actually be the further from the curb, right from the Legion's building. Okay. I was just concerned about where the entry was. And we'll have to go through permitting with the Department of Transportation, and therefore we'll have to meet all of their site visibility, you know, requirements and everything for for the state driveway. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, my name's John Moran. Uh, you guys thought about removing the power pole down in the middle of the lot? Have we thought about removing it? Yeah. I don't Why know what we're going to do with power poles yet. We have not done architectural drawings yet to this point. That's right. As you, in the middle of that lot, there's a power pole. Right. If it's in the way, it'll have to be moved. Okay. Anybody else? Say that pretty much takes care of it. There's nobody what's got any questions or uh, I do have a question. Uh, I have heard rumors, these are just rumors at this point, that there
there has been some irregularity with the Legion's agreement with this project. Okay. That uh, there is going to be <coughs> some problems with that. Do you anticipate any problems with this? I don't anticipate any as far as we're concerned. We have a legal legal contract with the Legion and the uh, you know, for Jim Wright, uh, he feels confident that he's followed all requirements on his end with the Legion, and he's spoken with the state, you know, board and whoever else he needed to speak with there, and he feels confident that we have a good legal agreement. So we're not anticipating any issues there. I've also heard that the Legion is going to be meeting on this in an open meeting sometime this week to discuss this issue and uh, possibly withdraw. Is there anybody from the Legion here that can confirm or deny this? Yeah, I can. <clears throat> I'm Jim Wright. I'm the commander of the American Legion. <coughs> and all procedures are followed exactly like we followed them when we sold a half acre to the White Regal. I don't know if you remember that or not. No, we sold the White a half acre up there. The same act procedures have been followed to a T with this gentleman here. Nothing different. No variances at all. No variance. No nothing. We did nothing different. The membership approved it at a meeting. Okay. I've talked to the third district. I've talked to the national. They said they have any no business of how we sell our property. They have no holds over our property. And also heard rumors in this town, of course, you're going to hear a million rumors in this town, if you live here, <laughs> that uh, we couldn't sell it because the guy that willed us the land, uh, that he's had in their stipulation, we couldn't sell it. Well, if that had been so, how did we sell it to Mr. Regal? I went to the courthouse at that time, went through all the records. There's not one stipulation on that. None. So what the Legion has did, and the contract we got with him, is binding... I did nothing wrong. The legions did nothing wrong. You know, they followed it to the T. The only thing the legion did, looking out for the legion, which is my job as a commander, is that was a hell of a price he offered us for an acre and three tenths. And the only good it's doing us now is to mow it and pay taxes on it. And I thought I would be helping the town because I thought the town could use something like that. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I haven't always been right. Anything else I can tell you? Any other questions while I'm here? Because he's sitting back there. He's going to take me to jail if I don't do right. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Thank you, sir. Is there any other questions? Does anybody else have any other comments? Council. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. A second. Roll call. <clears throat> Jeannie. Yeah. Joe. Yeah. Rick. Yes. Frank. Yes. Nick. Yes. Mary Tracy. Yes. The public hearing is adjourned. Now our regular meeting doesn't take place until 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm smoking. Unless if you get you gotta smoke, smoke them.